Um, hello, welcome back to another Add On Cartoons video. Today we're going to be talking about reviewing the FNAF movie. If I'm going to be honest, I never really played any of the games, like, in my life. Like, I never really played, I haven't played any of the games, not even, like, on my phone or anything, but didn't they, like, cost money or am I, like, completely wrong? <laughs> but, yeah. I would say, from what I've seen of FNAF, it's a pretty good representation. It's not the best video game recreation. There ain't no Mario movie re movie or anything, but like, it does a real decent job. I can understand why it's got a 5.9 out of 10, according to Google. <laughs> but it doesn't have the best um, percentage on Rotten T Tomatoes. I think it has like 38% or like something like that. But yeah, I would say... The best part of the movie is definitely the main character, Mike. I feel like he really, it really fits the role very well. If I'm gonna be honest, does a pretty good job representing the character. And to be honest, Vanessa was just a regular ass woman. <laughs> There's not really much to say there. And for a movie that's meant to have like a lot of jump scares. Spoiler warning, there are barely any jump scares in this movie. And we got to see the same scene of the kids representing each of the animatronics like four times with barely any change. Is, I don't know why, I just find that really stupid. Like, what is like, what is the point in that, you know what I mean? Like, what's the point of replaying the same scene with very little change? <laughs> Doesn't really like do anything to the story that much. They only add, like, one different thing each time they do the same. But, yeah, if I'm gonna be real, at the end, when I'm doing heavy spoiler warnings, you you have to, I'm gonna have to put spoilers, like, if I'm gonna be honest. At the end, where Vanessa nearly died, you would think she would be dead, but she's not dead. What is the point in that? Like, she literally sounded like she choked to death by whoever the other... I don't know how FNAF worked, man. By her, her, like, father nearly killed her. And somehow she isn't dead. It's like, what? Like, what, what do you mean? Like, what are you what are you talking about? You know? At the end, she's apparently not dead and in the hospital. Like, what? You know? I don't know. It just confuses me a little. But yeah, the kid, whoever played the kid, did a pretty good job. It was a little creepy though, how that, that girl got died and Freddy literally just sucked her up and just ate her. Is I don't know, that that's a little creepy, but that's really the only real scary part. I know they had to lower it from like 16 plus to M for Mature, so the actual audience of FNAF can actually, I don't know, watch the movie. But yeah, I rate this a 6 out of 10. There's not, there's not really much I can say about this movie. Um, yeah. I, pr I have another Garfield movie review coming up soon. So yeah, that's really all I got to say. Um, yeah, um, bye.